Originally, that all the lights had their all their individual switches on them. When I got the boat, it was in pretty poor shape. Yep. When you double press, you can switch from the white to the blue. Oh, that's handy. Uh, instead of it just saves a bit more real estate on the switches. Yeah, yeah. And you can then dim. You can then also join both colors together and then you can dim that down. So, yeah, nice. Uh, we have that uh, feature on it as well. Plus, the circuits uh, don't need a fuse. They're all advanced fuseless. Yeah, right. So yep. when you run out to all these lights, you don't have to worry about putting a fuse in that circuit. Yep. So for a retrofit, it's just so easy. So to easy, do. yeah, yeah. You just yeah. put it straight in. That's good. The starlight turns off in 80 millionths of a second if there's a short circuit. Yep. So it uh, makes it easy if you're a do-it-yourself, if you're doing it, you know, <laughs> just that easy to do and you, you can't screw it up. No, that's, that's really good. And uh, I like too that the, the light switches um, you know, I can mount them to the wall if I want them in a permanent spot, but they're also wireless. So you can have up to uh, six switches on the one circuit. So you'd have one in the cabin, one saloon, one in the cockpit, and they go to the one uh, device. So you can uh, you can either carry a switch around, but you can have them up there. Yeah, really cool. I like that function. Yeah. The product update is that all the Safari Star controllers will be integrated within the Victron ecosystem and can be switched from the touch display, as well as using the wireless and CAN-based keypads. It'll be one complete system.